hello class today we're going to see another technique of carrying out business research and we're going to see sampling so we're going to go ahead and see what sampling is and different types of sampling yes our objectives today are to be able to explain types of sampling and to be able to collect primary data using sampling technique so sampling refers to the process of collecting of selecting units for example people or organizations from a large population so actually here is we may not be able to collect or information from every individual every person or from all the products so that's why we need to do sampling make sure that we select some units or samples that will represent a bigger population that is sampling so we have Two categories of sampling two types of sampling one is probability sampling the second one is non-probability sampling with with probability sampling is a technique where the samples are gathered in a process that gives all individuals equal chances of being selected so here with probability sampling all people have equal chances of being selected into the sample so the following uh, categories of simple random uh, no of probability sampling and we are starting with simple random sampling actually this is probability sampling this is where all individuals or maybe all the commodities have equal chances of being selected to be part of the sample so for example maybe when you come to Kigali and you want to find out what people think about your product all people in Kigali have equal chances of being selected so you are not coming targeting a particular category of people it means all people in Kigali have equal chances of being selected into your sample so this kind of sampling if it is done well it can be unbiased it's actually unbiased and it can be representative meaning that a sample can represent the whole population in Kigali but it can be very difficult especially when you are dealing with a large population so we talk about stratified random sampling or proportional random sampling this is a probability technique actually where the strata or the groups are chosen to represent different characteristics within a population for example you can select people randomly to represent a particular ethnicity you can choose select people randomly to represent a particular age level you can choose people randomly select people randomly to represent a particular location for example maybe you can choose people to represent people of 18 years and below can choose people to represent people who stay in Kigali or people who stay in Bujasera, but this is done randomly. Yes.